It feels very rewarding, but I'll tell you when we started, it was very scary. I mean, it's because no one talks about it, it feels so taboo. It feels like a stigma. And part of the whole reason we wanted to do the blog, in theory, was to help reduce the stigma around it and also create greater awareness, create a conversation. In theory, that's wonderful. But once I started writing the blog, I realized just how frightening that is. I mean, there's my name, there's my picture, there's my story. You know, you're talking about very sensitive subject, sensitive body parts. It was awkward. Uh, but in the end, once I started to get even just a little bit of feedback, it was really rewarding. Uh, again, very therapeutic, and it really kept me going. Then I just wanted to keep talking about it. The more I felt like I was helping other people, the more I wanted to talk about it. Certainly empathize with uh, people in that situation when their well-meaning friends may say something unwittingly Hurtful. It happens in anybody's life. It doesn't just happen around infertility, but certainly infertility is something that sometimes isn't spoken about. So sometimes people don't even know you're having a struggle. And also because it's not widely understood, sometimes our friends and family don't realize that they're saying hurtful things. The only advice I can think of is um, I think it's important to find supportive friends and they may not even be in your everyday circle. You can find online groups, um, other communities, such as that's one of the reasons why we started this blog. It's really important to find other people that understand what you're going through. And what I did learn over time is there does come a point where you simply have to forgive those people around you. Most of the time, they're never intentionally trying to say anything hurtful. It just happens by accident. You can attempt to try and educate them if you have the time and the strength to do so, but I think what's also important to remember is it's okay that they may not understand. It's, it's okay, and you just have to learn to forgive them, and it's also okay to forgive yourself. If you need to take time and be by yourself and read something that gives you hope or do anything, take a bubble bath, whatever it is that soothes your soul and replenishes your soul, it, it's good to take the time to do that, and I think that's really important. As Kathy touched on, you know, this is, in our experience, a very strange mix of topics. You cannot talk about fertility or challenges in having a family without touching on, at least in our system of healthcare, the costs, which some people may not have to worry about, but we certainly did, and they are in, in our uh, environment, in our situation. They are not insignificant. In fact, they can be ruinous. And one of the things you have to, you have to work into the discussion is just how far are you willing to go? Are you willing to pay for your savings? Are you willing to mortgage your future? Are you willing to go into debt? Um, these questions become very real when the bill runs many, many thousands of dollars every 28 days. Um, it touches on marriage, communication, familial expectations, sex. Uh, the list of things that are awkward about this is very long. So have I found blogging about it cathartic? I don't know. But I have found it very libera liberating to throw down and say, okay, if we're going to talk about this, Stand back, folks, because you're going to get splattered with, you know, sex and money and, and <laughs> ticked off relatives and all the other things that you can't get into this without touching on. It's messy and it's difficult. But I believe that that's why it's important to talk about it. That is what prevents people from talking about it. And that is what keeps them isolated and feeling alone and feeling broken and feeling like, I'm not a woman, I can't make a baby. I'm not a man, I can't have a son to carry on my name. All these things that weigh on us and, and can tear people up because no one wants to talk about it because it's messy. So I have found it liberating to just rip the band-aid off and say, it's the internet, let's throw it out there and see what happens. Well said.